Hello and welcome to the Bulletin Vlog. I'm Helen McGrath, Head of Public Affairs, and I'm joined by our Bulletin Editor, Dennis Hall. Hello, everyone. Now, this is your weekly quickfire heads up of the local government legal news and the activities of LLG. So, Dennis, what's caught your attention this week? Well, dominating the local government news last week were the series of government announcements concerning new measures to tackle antisocial behaviour with the new Antisocial Behaviour Action Plan that will make sure this issue is treated with the urgency that it requires. Yet it remains to be seen, however, what resources will be available to make this a reality. And only police capacity can make more enforcement a reality too. There was also the news that the Information Commissioner's Office has issued an enforcement notice to Lewisham Council for failing to respond to hundreds of overdue FOI requests. At the end of 2022, the Council had 338 overdue requests for information, 221 of which were more than 12 months old. Now, here's the question. Is this report typical of what problems are facing councils at the moment? And more importantly, what's the cause? Helen, over to you. Well, they aren't the only ones, Dennis. The legal ombudsman have recently announced plans to try and halve waiting times, which currently stand at an average of 289 days, according to the Law Gazette. So now in the LLG news, we held our AGM uh, last week with several new appointments made, all of which can be viewed on the news section of our website. And congratulations to our new president, Rachel McCoy, who you can read more about in the bulletin last week or by, by reading her interview with a local government lawyer. Rachel has set out a manifesto, which we will be reporting on fully after the Easter break, but you can look forward to a very modern approach with more in-person opportunities. This week in membership events, we have our Housing and Regeneration National Lead Meeting on Thursday, and the week after Easter, we have our Employment National Lead Meeting. Looking ahead for the week after Easter, you can become on for our essential guide to overview and scrutiny committees on the 13th of April. Finally, keep the 9th of June free for our spring conference in Birmingham, the 10th of November for our governance conference in Sheffield, and don't forget to get your submissions in for the LRG Awards 2023. And now for a sneaky peek at what's coming up in bulletin number 13, Dennis. Well, bulletin 13 is our Easter edition. And to ease your way through the holiday period, I've included more than the usual number of podcasts on a range of topics and recent cases. Don't forget, of course, to listen to our own Grapevine podcast with Helen and me. I've included a piece in the latest edition about how lawyers in local government are sometimes, albeit wrongly perceived, when compared with our private practice counterparts. And I tackle the age-old myths around all of this and why young lawyers are now keen to see the old ways change for the better. Helen. Indeed. And just a note to say that Dennis and I will be taking a break for Easter. And we'll return both the podcast and the vlog on the 17th of April. So until then, have a lovely long weekend over the Easter period. It's goodbye from me. And from me too.